live from the Santa Clara Convention Center. This is SiliconAngle.tv's exclusive coverage of Hitachi Information Forum 2010. Now, inside the queue from SiliconAngle.tv. Okay, we're back. SiliconAngle.com's continuous coverage of Silicon Valley technology. We are the Cube, inside the Cube, with Tom Freyna, who's uh, the CEO of uh, Vion. 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 Okay. Well, thanks for joining the Cube. We're here at the Hitachi big announcement. They're announcing a whole new platform, years in the works, game changing, very high end. I'm here with my co-host Dave Vellante, founder of Wikibon.org, a research firm based in Massachusetts. Dave, take so it away. Tom, tell us a little bit about Vion. Vion is a 30-year-old uh, business. We qualify in federal government speak as a veteran, Vietnam veteran-owned small business. Uh, we've been a Hitachi Data Systems partner uh, since they were formed in 88. Prior to that, we were selling Hitachi product. Uh, so we've re basically been representing Hitachi uh, Data Systems or Hitachi Limited product in the federal marketplace for the last 30 years. We are their longest uh, partner uh, in the IT business outside of Japan. Okay, that's pretty key for Hitachi, obviously. They need a way to sell to the U.S. government. <laughs> and, um, so obviously a critical partner. Talk a little, go ahead. You had a the, uh, our business is mainly federal government and public sector. So we do about 95, 96% of our business is in those two market segments. Of that 96, 97%, 80% of it's uh, federal government and 20% uh, is in the uh, public sector. So we're all over the uh, United States Texas, California, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Florida, etc. You know, we were talking off camera th that I used to be involved in the government business when I was at IDC, and it used to be that the government CIOs wanted to benchmark themselves against commercial businesses, but I'm seeing actually a real change now. We're seeing some real innovation going on in the government, a lot of cloud adoption. Um, is that a, a, an accurate perception? Is the government sort of becoming leading edge in some of those things? Well, the uh, CIO for the federal government is pushing cloud as a major initiative. Um, the uh, General Services Administration is pushing a uh, cloud uh, project uh, for the public cloud. Uh, and most large uh, entities within the federal government are looking at how to do private clouds. Uh, the vast majority of the uh, federal government, uh, while they probably would like to use a public cloud because of security of data, you don't want your social security records on a public cloud. <laughs> You'd like exactly. those to be on a private cloud. So it's things like that uh, are being driven to a private cloud, but there is a huge push within the federal market space to adopt the cloud uh, construct and uh, you know get the benefits from that kind of uh, structure. Tom, um, Jack Domey was talking about the um, the notion of governance. Obviously, you in the government sector, you know, that's a big big issue, right? You got data, you guys have it secured. Obviously, it's minimum. What about governance? What does that mean to enterprises? Because the data needs to be managed, and he was really referring to that as okay. You got data out there. How long is it going to be lasting for? He was teasing that out. Can you elaborate on, on what that kind of means for the average person out there? I mean, what are the challenges around data governance? The um Half of the data required to be stored in the United States today is driven by federal government rules and regulations. And those rules and regulations get driven down to states, counties, cities, etc. And then there's data that you need to maintain yourself as a uh, individual, such as your IRS uh, tax records. So, you know, they can go back seven years and audit you. And hopefully somewhere you've got hidden your you know, seven-year-old IRS uh, filings and the data that went with it. So trying to Ladies manage and that and trying to um, make sure that Thank data you. is available according to the rules and regulations and how long it needs to be kept and at what level. So part of the announcement today is huge for the federal government and the public sector. And the huge part is, is being able to keep the data that you're necessary to keep, but basically drive it down the different tiers as it isn't used. And within the federal market space, much like commercial market space, 
data gets created and it's used probably for a week or 10 days and then it slowly you know falls trails away trails away and with the tiering that's in the marketplace today they can meet the requirements to govern that the uh, command suite that they've created around this is going to help the uh, operational people within the centers and the uh, be able to drive that business and to better manage that from That's that the efficiency standpoint. message basically they're talking about. That is, yes. Let's talk a little bit about, a little bit more about the Hitachi relationship. I mean, you, you've, obviously there's a long, you know, 30 year relationship there, but, but why Hitachi? I mean, you got a lot of choices out there. Why, why HDS? We basically, um, unlike most resellers in the marketplace, represent two or three different product sets, four or five different product sets. Hitachi is our major partner and while we do periodically because you have like for like bids, you have to um, supply some other products. We lead with Hitachi um, and we work hard on representing Hitachi uh, across the federal market space and then in isolated public sectors. The reason we've done that is in part the technology that from day one they brought to the marketplace. The Hitachi product has been the most reliable product in the marketplace since they brought the storage to the marketplace. And it continually gets stronger and you know more reliable and with a lot more feature and function. We have a lot of customers that fall into um, the Intel community and into the Defense Department. And we are running mission critical applications that support the warfighter. And the last thing you want to do is have some kind of an outage. And you want to be able to manage that product as best you can and manage it from very remote locations in places you and I would never prefer to go to. <laughs> All right, we're talking to Tom Frana from Vion. He's the CEO of Vion, and Vion is a, a big HDS partner in the federal government. We're talking about the federal government actually innovating. We're talking about you know, cloud, the federal government CIO, security, a big, big inhibitor, and maybe the federal government is going to lead there. Tom, uh, last word for you. What advice would you give to, to your customers uh, as it relates to storage in general? The, um, you know, the requirements are going to keep growing. Uh, you absolutely have to have a, uh, a good management structure in place, both to build the infrastructure, but to manage the infrastructure. Um, the key thing today about this announcement is is fourfold there are customers within the federal government market space that are in a um, power grid that has no more power so when you introduce a product that reduces the power requirements substantially and allows you also to grow the amount of data you can put in a given footprint is huge to some of these uh, customers and accounts and I think that's going to be one of the things with this announcement that's really going to track well with the uh, federal government marketplace. Efficiency, innovation, sustainability. Tom Frenna, great to have you on theCUBE. Thanks so much for coming on. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Good to see you.